person that owns the company, Peter Geller, was a photographer. He's based in Germany. He did a lot of traveling, photographing all over the world. So he was looking for equipment that he could put together very quickly, take with him on airplanes, maybe himself and one assistant could put it together. And then some places that you would go, maybe there wouldn't be electricity. So you would bring power packs or whatever, but you can't plug them in. To this kind of equipment you can use, you can light almost anything with it. You can take them and put them on these large stands and light the second floor of castles. We could light this entire area here with, with just a bigger bank of those. We could just completely flood it. We're actually holding the light down. Another thing that you can do with these is you can bank light, like maybe the light isn't in the right direction to come into this studio, but you can send the light into another set of bounces and then bounce them, kind of bank shot the light back into the studio. We're out. Good. Excellent. I'm really keen on it, so I sort of travel everywhere with them and it's really made my life a lot easier. Yeah. Those things are amazing. They are amazing. And then Laddie can come this way out of it. Okay. And let's keep those hot. Very good. Good. Yes. And very good. Yes. Just like that. Yes and yes. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Perfect. You are perfect. You are perfect. Perfect. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Do you know what would be nice if we want to use the cage, the tent? Why don't we move it in here and let's see if Laddie can't put some kind of a table or something in it that gives us a place. I would go here and then here, you know, yeah. get a little filler. Little Phil. Is little Phil around? Little Phil. Get little Phil in here. I'll leave you last, so it's fine. Uh -huh. Okay. Here, I think everybody needs to come from here. We're going to try and light that other side of the room. Oh, great. It works. Okay. One of the great things about having that tent that we were using is that throughout the day you can move it and then you can sort of direct light into it. It's the same principle that Irving Penn used when he was doing all of his portraits in New Guinea. It's the same idea. And, but this is much more lightweight and it's high-tech fabric and et cetera, et cetera. Yes, very good. Yes. I photographed artists, David Hockney, Sam Francis, Richard Diebenkorn, at another time for a book called California Artists, New Painters. And so I'm going back to a lot of those people, like we photographed yeah. David Hockney quite recently, and uh, we're going to photograph John Baldessari. We photographed Laddie, and I'm using the last of this Polaroid. I just think it's really fitting that I, I do that. I had like 10 cases of it. I, I have about three cases of it left. I also use it for the architecture work that I'm doing, this book on Los Angeles. It's it is the remains of the day. There's a lot of heart to the work. Face, would you say? Yes. Very good. Yeah, this is like so out of date and so weird. It might be good. Might be no good. Okay. Here we go. And same thing again. Just kind of moving on this. Yes. Okay. Right, to me, yes. And looking kind of over someplace. So, there we go. That's what we wanted. Okay. Let's just see what these look like. Go at this one more time. This is excellent. Ha! Ah, killer. Got it. Excellent. So this is what we wanted to get. Something very candid. He's in action. Shot on Polaroid. The Polaroid is aged. You like that. Doesn't matter what the Polaroid does. This has been x-rayed. It's five years out of date. It has not been in the fridge. I bought it online. This is nice. I like these colors. Okay. Love the background. Do you know what? I think we're good.